I'm Dr. Dan and we're into part two of uh, the brain. So if you're just starting here, I'd recommend you swing back and look at part one. But a quick overview of part one for, of the brain is has to do with learning. And you know, we want you to keep learning. That's part of brain health. And the other thing is physical exercise. So do those. And we also talked about how the brain is shrinking and I'll expand on that just a little bit. Now the reason that over the last 20,000 years that our brain tends to become smaller is because of the of the heavy reliance on these uh, convenient grains like wheat, rye, barley, corn, and oats. So these can have a detrimental effect on the brain. It's also been observed that in cultures that don't eat these types of grains have virtually no schizophrenia. And also some studies 30 years ago, psychiatrists figured out that if they would take these grains out of the diet, of people who are struggling mentally, that many of them would regain their mental health within a short time, you know, within a few months. So, this is um, these are not trivial matters. Um, learning if you're if you're sensitive to these grains, and there are several different components that can cause problems. The most uh, potent of them, of course, is gluten. So, we we encourage you to find out if you're gluten sensitive and get off of that, even if you're not having these brain issues right now. There are some, uh, some simple um, supplements that you can take on, as a routine that will help you. Uh, fish oils, of course, are important. And the reason fish oils are important is because, according to many people, we need, and many researchers, we need a one-to-one -one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. Now, the omega-3s would be things like fish oil and flaxseed, borage oil. The trouble is that uh, the flax and other grain um, sources of omega-3s aren't as good as the fish oils for our brain. And, you know, it's certainly better than nothing. If you're a strict vegetarian, then uh, go for the other ones. But if you're not, uh, use the fish oils. Um, things like corn, which is a huge part of our, uh, huge part of our diet in the U.S., uh, that's omega-6. So, Instead of having a nice 1 1 ratio of omega 3 to omega 6, is the average American is getting more like 20 or 30 to 1 omega 6 to omega 3s, which leads to a lot more inflammation and, of course, uh, brain inflammation and brain degeneration. So, it's just something really simple that you can do for yourself. Limit these grains, add in a fair amount of fish oil, two or three of these capsules a day at least, and that will help. Now, we're a big fan of Nordic Naturals. There are other companies that produce good fish oils, but you know, that's what they do. So, you know, we've uh, come to like them a lot. Um, another product that, we've, that, we're, uh, that we uh, recommend, because we've seen it work so well, is something called Cognisure by Metagenics. Cognisure is spelled C-O-G-N-I-S-U-R-E. Cognisure helps to remove what's called the beta amyloid proteins from the, from the brain, and when that, when the, uh, these, beta, these beta amyloid proteins are precursors to some called tau proteins, which is permanent brain damage that you'll see in uh, people who've had concussions, like uh, NFL football players, for example, or, or um, you know, people with Alzheimer's disease, they develop these tau proteins. But in, uh, in the disease and dementia, Alzheimer's progression, you go through a beta amyloid state. And if you catch that early enough, the, uh, the, the cognisure should make a difference, so it's worth giving it a try. If it's advanced type problems with too much uh, tau protein activity and permanent damage, you know, it might slow it down a little bit, but, uh, but you know, it won't hurt. And this is one uh, tiny pill that you chew up uh, three times a week, so that's, it's pretty simple. And of course we recommend, recommend uh, phosphatidylcholine because a lot of the membranes have, have a big part, big um, phosphatidylcholine uh, component. So biotics makes a good one of those. And also uh, neurotransmitter support is, is essential. So by you know, finding out if your neurotransmitters are balanced, and we can do some testing on that, just give us a call, and we can help fine tune that as well. Also look at other videos and other articles I've written about um, anti-aging and antioxidants, because those are all part of um, of the brain health as well. So anyway, I trust that was helpful for you and there's some really simple things that you can do to keep your brain younger a lot longer. So thanks a lot for listening.